hey guys so i'm back with another video so in this video i'm going to be sharing some of my favorite favorite top favorite makeup brush these brushes right here are the morphe brushes let me tell you i absolutely love morphe brushes like love them absolutely love them not only are they good they're affordable 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 like these brushes are so freaking affordable it's crazy like it's so the first brush i have here is the morphe e41 brush this is what the brush looks like this is what the top of the brush looks like so it's a dome powder brush and it's just a really big like look at how big this brush is it's so big it's so soft like it's so freaking soft and you can apply so much powder in one area of the face without having to overdo it i guess you can say but you can just and your brush i think this was my first morphe brush and i absolutely love this brush oh my goodness it's kind of tapered on the side and then flat on the um on the outside and this is the it's called a pointed powder brush the pointed powder brush um yeah i guess it is pointed i don't know but anyways i like to use this for putting powder underneath my eyes for some reason i don't know why but it just works for me but you can also apply because of the shape of the side you can apply product on your cheekbones on the, on your cheekbones but in you know your what do you call this your contour area you know pat it around you can also use all over powder as an all over powder brush absolutely love this brush this brush is my favorite all-time favorite foundation brush it is the five um no it's the m439 brush and it looks like this and it has kind of like a flatter top on it sorry it's dirty because i use it <laughs> but yeah this brush is amazing to apply liquid foundation and it buffs it out so freaking smooth and airbrushed and it doesn't like steal your product um from your face so it applies it evenly without removing too much product from the face this one is also a good foundation brush um it's the m444 brush also not expensive at all and it's really good to use for liquid foundation and to buff out your foundation um it's, it does the same thing as the other one does but um yeah and it also doesn't steal your product it leaves you with a nice even finish airbrush finish and once again it is the m444 really amazing foundation brush you can also use this one for powder as well it is the pointed powder brush and it's the 58 m581 brush and you can use this for underneath your eye you can use it also for the contour area um it's nice and soft i absolutely love the bristles on their brushes like they're amazing. so this next brush is also one of my favorites it is the m 554 brush it is the under eye setting brush this is really good for setting the under eye area that's mainly all that i use this brush for i mean you can use it for many other purposes you don't have to use one brush because it says it's an under eye brush you don't have to just use it for that but this brush is amazing for applying product underneath your eye and setting it into your next eye. brush is this brush here this is the M536 brush. This is the under eye bullet brush. This one is really good for um, buffing out your highlight underneath your eyes. You can use it for, once again, many other places, but it's really good for underneath the eye. Like if you, it's a bigger, like, kind of like a concealer brush to buff out that, um, that um, foundation. You can also use it for powder as well underneath your eye, just packing it in. It's amazing and sweeping off brush is this brush here. It's like a 
angled contour brush and it's the number m504 it's really good for the contour area getting right in that contour and it just stays right in that area it's really good for that and then if you want to bring the product up and apply it all over the face it's really good for that too. the morphe m um 105 brush this is a blush brush that's how it looks like it's like a regular round brush and it's perfect just to apply some blush i'm gonna use this um juvia's place brush so you just apply some products and it's just perfect for the apples of your cheeks like it's just perfect 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 just to apply that blush and it's so freaking it's like soft. perfect to apply brush brush blush to your cheeks absolutely love it once again this is the m105 brush the next brush is this one here it's like a pointed kind of flat on the top round brush it is the m um m173 and this is called Oh, it's just a mini buffer, a mini buffer brush. So it's like a mini um, brush to buff out your concealer, like underneath your eye. You can even do it here, just wherever you apply your concealer, you buff it out. And it's a mini buffer brush. This is really soft, kind of nice and dense brush. I use it all the time. Absolutely love it. M173 Concealer Buffing Brush. Next brush is this big fluffy fluff um what is it called eyeshadow brush so it is the number 524 m524 you can't really see that but yeah it's the m524 and this is what it look okay maybe right here <laughs> this is what it looks like it's like a big fluff brush and i won't i will use it for like some days you only apply when you want to apply one shade it's like so big uh, you can literally just put one shadow just whoop, right there on the eye. But, you know, you can use it for many different things. You can turn it sideways and put a color in your crease, pack on product. You can even, even put on your concealer and blend it out over your eye. And it's so big, you're getting a lot, you know, for this with this one brush. So yeah, I absolutely love this brush as well. Brush. This is the Y14 highlighting brush. I absolutely love this brush um, for highlight. Um, let me see. What is this? This NARS Ibiza. Absolutely love this too. Let's see, look. It just perfectly applies the color because of the long pointiness of it in the area that you want to apply the product. Absolutely amazing. And I love the gold, um, the gold handle on the brush that adds a little cute touch to it. But yeah, this is really good. It's nice and soft and you can just swipe and get that one little swipe of product right there where you want it and it's nice and light like it look like it'll be heavy but it's actually really light and i don't know what collection this was from but it's really pretty it's the y14 highlighting the brush. Next brush is the m705 concealer brush and i just really thought this was pretty because i like the way it's shaped in the top like an arrow but it's really good for your um what do you call it when you want to line your your brows perfect um you can underneath your eye perfect little points to do so um even if you want to blend out your products on your eyes perfect little concealer brush uh, once again this was the 705 this brush here is a tiny 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 little smudge brush and you can use it it's perfect for putting product in the waterline and you can blend it down and it just does it so perfectly like it's the perfect 
little bit. And I like this brush so much, I accidentally bought two of them. Like, I'm like, oh, that's cute. Got home and was like, oh, I already got one. But yeah, these are good for smudging out the Next water brush. Is the M222? It's a bullet brush, so this one it will be perfect for maybe making the outer V, starting off an outer V, or applying a color to your crease. This brush is the M513, and this one is a round blender brush. I absolutely love their blending brushes, they're perfect to blend out the product. So, like, if I was to use that round brush to make an outer V and then I could blend it out with this brush. I could blend out the crease with this brush. It's perfect. It's nice and soft and it has a nice little point to it so it'll give you that perfect blend that you're looking for. The next brush is the M330. Another little pointed brush. It's called blending crease brush. So this is a crease brush and the point of this is so perfect to apply that crease if you want to if you want like that um what do you call it like that not i want to say blunt but it's not blunt but if you want that color to really pop and stand out in the crease the point packs the color in there so perfectly and then you can also use this brush to blend it out with so and this brush is probably like what five or six dollars like so cheap perfect little brush the next brush is the M411, so it's kind of like the other one, but smaller. And M411 is a pointed, another pointed blender, but it's just a smaller brush, so you can put that color in the crease, blend it out. Also, if you want to smoke out the outer V, perfect little brush to blend that out with. And the last brush that I have is the one m139 brush and the m139 is a tapered crease so the point of it you see how pointy it is once again is perfect to pack color into your crease so if you want like a bold brown or just a pop of color in your crease just smoke that a little bit you can go ahead and apply that color and then just smoke it out with this brush so all those last brushes were similar but the point, like this one is more pointy. This one is like short, but it's but it's more pointed. So yeah, these are all really good, really affordable brushes. I absolutely love Morphe brushes. And I plan on getting the whole freaking Morphe set of brushes. So I went ahead and picked up this brush holder right here. Um, and it's really huge. And it says Morphe on the front of it. And it's really affordable. Like, you get this big old thing that goes like this. Okay, hold on. And then it snaps on the sides. So, you put it top. And then you can snap it in. I mean, you can travel with this. It's not going to come apart. It's really sturdy, heavy duty. And it's freaking, look at this. It's freaking huge. Like, it's freaking, and it's only $20. So, like, I had, like, a little small Sonya Kashuk one from Target that was about $20, and this one is, like, super big. And it fits all of my brushes in here with plenty of room to spare. So, I have one that I keep, like, my eye brushes in and, like, smaller brushes. And then... The one that I keep like eye brushes in so it's like really a nice size you can keep so many brushes in this case so yeah guys those are my favorite morphe brushes um I know it's a lot of them but they're amazing I can't like you can't beat that the price of them are like it's so freaking affordable like my last purchase was like I got about nine brushes for $75 like you can't beat check out morphe brushes depending on your area I don't know um all what locations they have a morphe stand in store but they do have one in san diego and fashion valley mall so if you live in san diego or you're close go check out the morphe store because they have everything jacqueline hill jeffree star um all the little morphe palettes yeah check them out so that concludes my video i hope you guys like the video um if you guys want to see anything else or just whatever just leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys with that. 
Thank you for watching. Deuces.